state of mental in 2013, it's, it's in a great place and it's also in a bad place. I, I think the fact that there is so much, and I guess to each their own, and I always talk about being accepted of all styles of life and all genres of music and that you can learn something from everything. There is a lot of manufactured nonsense out there. Um, purely talking about pop and pop country and pop rap and whatever is going on in the hardcore scene right now, you know, because, the, because for me, I mean, when I think of hardcore, I think of metal, I think of things that I, I love, bands that I love from those genres. I don't know, in my head, I know what they should sound like. And I can see what these bands are all copycatting off of each other's copycatting and not quite making anything original and not making anything of their own. They just keep copying the form of a copy. And um, I, I, I know I've been looking for that young new metal band. I, I, not, not NU, N-E-W. I keep waiting for where is where are the kids that are picking up guitar saying, hey, I want to be like Iron Maiden, hey, I want to be like Metallica. Instead, it's bands that are putting weird dance music in with heavy music, which is fine. I guess they're doing something that kids love, but for me as a metal fan, I, I'm missing out on where are the young kids picking guitar and starting metal bands. I guess that there are, there are a few last hopes out there, and there, there are some really incredible bands that are doing some really incredible things. The fact that Metallica and Iron Maiden are bigger than ever is a really, really great thing. But, I don't know, it, it's interesting to look at all the tours going on, and whenever we set up tours even, we're, we're looking for bands to bring out. It's like, where are the new bands? It's like, kids, pick up your instruments, start writing some great metal songs, and, and get out there and play music from the soul, play music from the heart play music that isn't written by some multi-millionaire who's just pumping out pop dribble. You know, it seems like that, that keeps happening. So, metal's always there. Ever since metal first spawned from arguably whether it's Zeppelin or Sabbath Priest, it's been there. And sometimes it gets really big and sometimes it gets small. And I know a couple things with people talking about record sales and people saying that the state of people buying CDs is bad and that's why labels are getting cut and downsized, that's why bands are disbanding and disappearing. Yet these pop bands are still selling millions of records. Maybe it's less millions than usual, but we as fans of metal need to not just look at it as a genre we turn on, or a thing we turn on casually, it's a lifestyle. It's, it's far beyond just something that we casually listen to. So I think that metal fans and metal bands need to support each other and band together and help bring each other further and bring each other upwards versus trying to drag each other down. I'm not saying that's a common feature that's what's happening right now, but I definitely don't see enough of, of a brotherhood of people helping each other, bands helping each other go up, fans supporting all bands because they're in the genre they love. I think we need more of that and we need more, we need more kids to start playing metal again. <laughs>